Hey guys, and welcome on in to another episode of Getting Wild with Terry and Friends, NHL Trends and Betting Picks. I'm Terry, ready to break down today's slate. Uh, two games to talk about today, 14 games to talk about tomorrow. So, a um, whole bunch of games tomorrow, just two games to talk about today, but I've got picks in both games. And yes, we do have a parlay of the day for the for today. Fortunately, both parlays of the days lost yesterday, but we'll get to that here in a second. We will uh, take a look at what happened yesterday, and then we will get into the chat. Uh, starting with this first game here, Carolina Hurricanes, Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, it was just a matter of time. Uh, eventually, uh, this Carolina Hurricanes team was going to run into a wall. Um, they've just played so much hockey recently. And um, this was the game where just things didn't work out. Gensel didn't get any points at all. Uh, and Seth Jarvis uh, back-to-back games with no goal. Uh, so Seth Jarvis has officially gone cold when it comes to streaks. Um, so we'll see uh, if he can bounce back in his next game. Adam Fox over half an assist. Uh, nice winner there. Um, Rangers score power play goals. And most of the time, Adam Fox is involved. Uh, so a, a nice winner uh, there in that one. Uh, Sam Reinhart. Um, we went back to Mr. Reinhardt, uh, a money maker earlier on in the season, uh, for everyone watching this show, um, almost on a daily basis, uh, during that time when he was just on fire, we were cashing night after night after night. Uh, well, we went back to him plus 160 here, uh, and, uh, he scored. So he, uh, he's back. He's officially back. Detroit Red Wings, Washington Capitals. Uh, Connor McMichael uh, scored a goal, uh, so cashed his point prop. Uh, Ovechkin did not, uh, so his um, goal scoring streak comes to an end after five or six games, I believe. Um, it might have been five, but um, it's over. Uh, whether he starts a new one in his next game, that remains to be seen, but Connor McMichael uh, stays hot uh, here in this game. Um, new Jersey Devils, Toronto Maple Leafs, William Nylander, anytime goal cashes. Uh, the Devils beat the Leafs 6-3, uh, but we got what we needed um, with uh, Nylander anytime call. Vegas Golden Knights, Nashville Predators. Uh, I did have, I did lock in Nashville, uh, minus 125 uh, Monday night. And to be honest, this game looked um, like a complete dud. Uh, it looked like Nashville was going to lose. It looked like that same game parlay. I was going to lose uh, because Vegas stormed out to a 4 nothing lead uh, and Nashville just didn't look like our 3-1 lead and then a 4-1. Uh, Nashville just didn't look right. Uh, it didn't look like they had it. But uh, Vegas Golden Knights on the second night of a back-to-back uh, with Yuri Patera and Net, uh, it was just a matter of time. Uh, and the Nashville Predators come back and win. Uh, I did add team total over 3.5. As I said, I was going to do if Patera was confirmed. So Nashville money line caches, the team total over three and a half caches. Uh, and then Forsberg and Gustav Nyquist both had points. Yossi did not have a point heading into the overtime. Well, the captain, Roman Yossi, uh, came through, scored a goal, cashed the same game parlay. Uh, so a perfect three and oh, or sorry, three and one in that game because we did go back to Shake Theodore assist. He scored a goal. He didn't get an assist. He scored a goal. So darn you, Theodore. Was so close to the sweep there uh, in that one. Edmonton Oilers, uh, money line caches. Uh, this Winnipeg Jets team continues to um, lose games. Uh, much closer game, and they were definitely in it in this one. Uh, I was not happy to hear that Rick Bonus was returning. Um, and luckily, that in the end, it didn't matter. Uh, the Oilers with the win there. Uh, Bouchard, unfortunately, did not get an assist, uh, so his uh, his streak also comes to an end in this game. Uh, Calgary Flames, Chicago Blackhawks, I stayed off, leaned the over, uh, heavy over history, and um, 
I guess, Lee in Chicago. They've done well against the Flames. Uh, and the Blackhawks get the win. A 3-1 win here uh, in this game. Montreal Canadiens, Colorado Avalanche. Uh, loser on the over 6.5. And, and, ah, 2-1 Montreal heading into uh, in the third period. Uh, and then um, a really dumb penalty by Sean Walker. A uh, four-minute double minor when there's five minutes left. Uh, and, uh, unfortunately, uh, the Avalanche not able to tie it up. Was really hoping to cash this plus 500 uh, with a draw here. Um, but, unfortunately, it lost. The over 6.5 also lost in this game. Jonathan Druin didn't get any points. Uh, so, that uh, plus 340 lost. But, Slavkovsky and Newhook both got points. Uh, Slavkovsky plus 100. Newhook plus 130 against his former team. Uh, so a nice one there. In the Columbus Blue Jackets, Arizona Coyotes game, Clay Keller did not score. He did get an assist, but uh, his goal scoring streak came to an end. Nick Schmaltz did get an assist. Uh, so he is back. And then the highlight of my night, uh, Mr. Josh Stone, plus 405. Uh, scores his first goal of his NHL career and then follows it up with a second goal of his NHL career. Just a fantastic game for him. Uh, as I had said on yesterday's show, this isn't just, uh, oh, he's making his debut, so I'm going to bet him type of play, because there were two other players that made their debuts yesterday that I did not bet on. But Josh Dome playing for his dad's team, his first game, facing this Blue Jackets defense, but also Dome leads his AHL team in goals uh, this season. So Josh Stone, anytime goal cashes, and we ha you have not heard the last of Josh Stone. Um, I will be mentioning him again tomorrow and uh, hopefully quite a few more times down the stretch. Uh, he played a fantastic game, uh, and I definitely think there's going to be value with him going forward um, for the Coyotes. I did lean with the Coyotes puck line. Probably should have pulled the trigger on that because they uh, got the job done there uh, at the end. Anaheim Ducks, Seattle Kraken, 4 nothing win for the Kraken. Wow. Um, I'm glad this was a pass. Uh, Frank Vetrano, unfortunately, his shots streak came to an end. Um, so there's that. But uh, overall, a happy pass here in this one. Dallas Stars, San Jose Sharks, Jamie Benn, minus 120 to get a point uh, when he um, had done it in 9 of 10 games let me see let me see um sorry 10 of 11 games he had a point uh he's had a point uh and he's minus 120 uh, that was a no-brainer there um i picked some parlays exclusive play of the day the last one for the nhl as i said on yesterday's show uh now the baseball is back uh every you will get every single one of my nhl plays um now on the show uh, so uh, my exclusive plays will be exclusively for baseball and NBA. Uh, but my exclusive play was the over six and a half in this game. Both teams trending towards the over um, recently when they faced each other. Uh, and uh, that cash is before we even get halfway through the game. Uh, as uh, Dallas second period overs continue to be crazy uh, and um, went really crazy last night. Uh, and cash that over nice and easy. Of course, Ben also um, got his point. The first parlay of the day, Philip Forsberg did his job. Jonathan Druin didn't get a point against his former team after he's been so hot recently. Uh, just not the best game for the Avalanche. Uh, and then the um, money line parlay of the day um, looked completely dead. Uh, Predators came back, but the Hurricanes uh, were not able to come back. We'll quickly take a look at the current standings, and then we'll get to the chat and see what people are thinking today. Uh, Boston in first with 99, Florida with 97, the Leafs with 89 points. The Rangers uh, clinched a playoff spot uh, with their win yesterday, 100 points. Carolina with 97, Philadelphia with 82. Uh, Tampa Bay in the first wild card spot with 85, Washington with 81, uh, Detroit two points behind. The Capitals, the Devils, five points behind the Capitals. Um, the Islanders, six points behind. Uh, and then we've got 
Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Uh, and then, of course, the bottom three of the Eastern Conference. Uh, Dallas in first with 99, Colorado with 97, Winnipeg with 94. Uh, Five-point difference now in the Central after being tied for so long. Um, um, in the Pacific, Vancouver with 98, Edmonton with 90. Um, two games in hand on Vancouver, eight points behind. Um, still time. Still time. LA Kings with 87. And we've got the two wildcard teams. The consistent Nashville Predators, uh, who just will not die. Uh, this team is just, I don't even know what to say uh, about the Predators. Vegas Gold Knights with 86. St. Louis, six points behind with 80. Minnesota, nine points behind Vegas with 77. Uh, and then a six-point drop-off here with Calgary and Seattle. Of course, Arizona, Anaheim, Chicago, and then San Jose, seven points behind um, at the bottom of the NHL standings right now. We will take a look at the chat and see what people are thinking today. Uh, yo, Terry. Hey, Robert. How's it going? Uh, good day, all. Oh, the Vegas Golden Knights collapse crushed me. I had Vegas Golden Knights money line. Uh, so did Robert. Sorry, guys. That was just... A tough loss for sure. Ovi Bouchard missing their props, effed up so many great plays. Yeah, sorry about that. Not well, not good. Good day, Terry. Uh, to you as well, Captain Bry. Uh, Miss Letty. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Miss Letty. Uh, the Red Wings game was uh, angry. Yeah, you were on Detroit, so I can see why you'd be angry. I think I'm still recovering from the pain. Sorry, guys. I jumped on Preds down 4 1, plus 1200. Very nice. Very nice. I honestly didn't think that they were going to come back. I didn't. So I I literally thought that it was just a, a dud game and that they were just ha like kind of like the Hurricanes game. I just I didn't I didn't see them coming back, but they did it. The best NHL team can lose to the worst NHL team. Pretty uh, pretty easy sides are harder than uh, player props. Yeah, I've been much better at player props all year long. Do we think Sinclair can get the goal today? I think you're talking about Duclair. We will talk about him very soon. Okay, day yesterday, uh, Avalanche and Canes poop. Um, I live bet Avalanche thinking they would come back. Yeah, me too. Me too. Morning, Terry. Morning, Dave. How's it going? What's up, Terry? Smash a like. Uh, stars, Terry. Yes, Richie. Uh, Jamie Ben got me uh, my point, and then uh, the Stars took care of the over. Um, especially in that second period. The over, never in doubt. I had uh, Reinhardt, Debrinkads, as a bandage out against the goal parlay. Sad, sad face. Oh, that's tough. Duclair, yes, we'll be talking about him. Uh, Terry, bet saved me. Oh, I'm glad to hear that one. Uh, might Jack Quinn back? Uh, I heard he is playing, yes. Carolina and Colorado shit the bed badly. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to happen sometimes. Uh, and all the Avalanche players' bets. Yeah, not good. Not good. John Carlson with two points. Yep, you mentioned him yesterday. Good job. Uh, full game over. Um, Bonanza last night. Yeah, a lot of overs last night for sure. 4 1 Vegas in the third. I know. I know. Terry, money bag. Hey, Jordan. Hope all is well. Uh, hello, Siri. How are you, Brandon? Um, Avs went over four on the power play. Yeah, who saw that coming? Not me. Uh, got the Fratrano shot prop. Um, missed on McCann. Oh, so you must have had Vitrano at two and a half? Because I think he only got three. He didn't hit his five, but good job. Missed on McCann. All right. Josh Stone, money. Yes, Captain Bry. Uh, Josh Stone was uh, the highlight of my night. It was awesome. Um Hey, Terry, I love seeing the channel grow. Props to you, brother, on the great content you put out. Much appreciated. Hey, thanks for uh, supporting the channel, PJ. And yeah, we've been growing a lot recently. Uh, so uh, thank you to all the new uh, viewers. Uh, Terry, Astros won yesterday. The new guy had a home run. Uh, got a seven free final score. Uh, opening day is tomorrow. Yes, I'm very excited about opening day. Uh, speaking about opening day, MLB show will be tonight at 6 p.m. I'm not exactly sure of the MLB show's um, time on when it's going to be. 
Um, I might do it the night before. That's how I might do it. Uh, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go along here coming up. Salute, Terry. Hey, Kev. Uh, what's up, Terry? What's up, Brett? I hope all is good. Uh, thanks for the don't play. I didn't hear anyone else talking about that. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, well, as soon as I saw on ESPN that he was making his debut, because I heard that he got called up, and as soon as I saw he was making his debut, I tweeted on Twitter, um, uh, siren goal eyes, because I was ready, ready to bet his goal prop the moment I heard he was making his debut, and he did not disappoint at all. Bruno for coach of the year? Honestly, I, I've not been even looking at futures at all. Uh, I don't even know what the odds are. I have not looked at any of that, but uh, definitely deserves some consideration for sure. Especially if they if they are able to keep this going their next ten games, uh, then he's definitely going to be top three uh, if they keep this going for sure. Had Stroman, you'll see for assists. Of course, they combine for three goals, and that's the trouble with taking. Like that's what happened with me with Jamie Ben. All he was doing was assisting. So I was taking his assist props and then goal, goal, goal. And it's like, oh, my God. So I went to point prop. So that's what happens, unfortunately. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks, Kev. Appreciate it. Um, Arizona, great player info. New kid with two goals. Yes, Kelly. The highlight of my night. Uh, Dallas second period over, says Addison. And, yeah, um, never a doubt in that one. Uh, no chance to lie bet that. They just went crazy. Let's make it to 1,000 subs. That's the goal. That's the goal. We'll see if we can get there. Uh, I had Nashville and gave up watching 4-1. Woke up to a win. LOL. Yeah. Um, I never expected it. I did not expect it. We might have to bet over second, uh, two and a half second periods with the Stars now. Yeah, depending on the team. If they're facing a team like San Jose, who had been trending towards the over, uh, then. Yeah, it might be uh, time to really look at that second period more. Uh, yo, Terry. Uh, yo, Clear Nan. How's it going? Terry, who's your manager for the Toronto Blue Jays? Um, John Schneider. I was bl blanking on his name there for a second. Um, see if he lasts the season. I'm not the biggest fan, but we'll just leave it at that. Landon Slager made his debut on the Hawks, scored a goal challenge, and got, got it away. Yes, uh, I did see that because uh, it was actually on – I was actually watching it. I know. I was watching that game because it was on TV. It wasn't my – I would have literally been watching any other game than that, uh, but that's what was on TV. But, yeah, I saw that. That sucked for him. Uh, plus 300 for Declare anytime goal on FanDuel. Interesting. Interesting. Thinking of printing president of the Sam Reinhardt uh, fan club shirts if anyone wants it. Yeah, hey, we'll see. We'll see how he does the rest of the season here, and we'll see what he does in the playoffs. Uh, because I'm hoping, hoping we can get some magic uh, from him in the playoffs. But that is a recap of yesterday's show and talking to everyone in the chat. Now we will talk about today's games. Two games to talk about today here. Uh, let me bring it up because I accidentally just deleted it here. Boom. We'll be talking about Ottawa Senators and the Buffalo Sabres right here in the first game of the night. Ottawa plus 120 to plus 126. Buffalo minus 135 to minus 145. Six and a half right across the board here in this game. Looking at starting goalies here. Uh, we have uh, Jonas Corposalo confirmed for um, Ottawa. And then uh, Ukepek Lukanen confirmed, or likely, uh, for Buffalo uh, here in this one. Uh, how are these two teams doing recently? Uh, Ottawa, 5-3 and three in their last eight. Buffalo, 5-3 and three in their last eight. Ottawa, six games in a row, over six and a half. Buffalo, for their last six, under five and a half. Buffalo's won three of the last four between the teams. Three overs, no unders, one game finished with six goals in the most recent meetings. Uh, so both teams playing pretty well right now. Uh, one team trending towards the over, one team trending towards the under. Ultimately, my only play in this game is Alex Tuck to get an assist. 
at plus 130. I do think the Sabres win this game, but I'm not laying minus 135. That is around my cutoff point, but it's minus 140 in most other spots. And the Sabres are just not a team I'm willing to lay that price with at all um, at this point. If they were fighting for a playoff spot, which I know Buffalo fans think that they're fighting for a playoff spot, but come on, you got to be realistic. I've been, I'm realistic about the Wilds' um, future when it comes to playoffs this season, and Sabres fans should be realistic also. Uh, the Sabres are not making the playoffs. So I cannot uh, lay a price with them, but I will take Alex Tuck to get an assist. Plus 130 here on the top line, and he's got an assist in five games in a row. Uh, Tage Thompson's got a point in seven of his last eight, three shots on goal in 16 of his last 19. For the Senators, Brady Kachuk a point in five of his last six, uh, five or more shots on goal in seven of, the la- seven of his last 10. And Tim Stutzel a point in eight of his last 10 games for the Senators uh, heading into this game. Uh, so just Alex Tuck for assist for me here in this one, um, in this game. Um, um, we're putting guys on Monday. All right. Uh, Sabres money line over six and a half. Okay. Uh, comments are coming in. So, okay. Oops. We're all up. Uh, cousins, two points, Skinner, two points plus eight, eight twenty-five. Nice. Nice. I'm we'd worried about there with, I could see this game finishing. I could see this being a lower scoring game. Honestly, Terry, I'm getting MLB the show for PS5. Very nice. Have fun. Have fun. Sabres money line. Uh, I have no. I wish I had time for um, playing. Um, I have a PS4, but uh, I wish I had time to play games. But now with baseball coming back and with NHL, it's going to be nonstop stats researching for me. So good news for the shows. A lot of stats for me, but no time for anything else. Like tomorrow, there's. 29 games combined between NHL and MLB. So busy, busy time. Sabres money line over six and a half and tuck assist. I like it. Lean under six and a half and I like that prop. Yeah, I do. I lean under six and a half as well. Ottawa season long, a goal in first 10, uh, 87. Um, 87. Uh, Buffalo, 65% at home. Right? All right. Both don't have anything to play uh, for. Yeah, depending on how they feel about their chances, if they're realistic, then no. But then, yeah, they don't really have anything to play for. Really, Greg, two points. Brady Kachuk, two points, plus 1,400. All right, all right. I mean, play for. Yeah, I agree. Ottawa first period, money line. Buffalo coming off the West Coast trip. That's true. That's true. Um. Yeah, not the best spot for them overall. Could be a good spot for uh, Ottawa early. Uh, 87%. Okay, 87%. We're talking about baseball, and he fought for the Astros and New York Yankees. All right. Uh, Chitrin under half a point. All right. All right, at under uh, history or under point there for Chitrin, says Tommy. Um, Batherson point, Paterka over two and a half shots. Uh, take uh, Tuck one point. All right, all right. Good history on the full game over between the Senators and Sabres. Um, yeah, especially recently. They have been higher scoring games, so we'll see if that continues. Owen Power under half a point. Okay, okay. Tage, yeah. yeah. Goal in first 10, says Tommy. All right. So people liking uh, bets, all different bets in this game. For me, it's just tuck assist. Uh, and then the parlay of the day, which will get to here very shortly because it's a short show with just two games here today. Final game of the night. Um, this will be the probably the more better game to watch here. We got the Boston Bruins and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Boston minus 105 to plus 101. Tampa Bay minus 112 to minus 115. Uh, sixes and there is a five and a half uh, available here uh, as well. And Tampa Bay is um, returning home from a trip as well. Not here in this game. Um, Andre Vasilevsky confirmed for Tampa Bay. Linus Hallmark likely, but um, would expect him to start, obviously, with a, um, with it being a second night of a back-to-back here. 
Uh, how are these teams doing recently? Boston, four and three in their last seven. Three of their last four going over six and a half. Tampa Bay, six, oh, and one in their last seven. Seven of their last nine games over six and a half. Back to back games going overtime. Tampa Bay, three and two in the last five meetings between these teams. Two of the last three going overtime. And four of the last six going under five and a half. So both teams heavily trending towards the over right now. But when they face each other, we usually do see lower scoring games. Uh, so, yes, I'm tempted with the over six but based on how these teams are playing right now. But not necessarily the best spot for either team. Uh, Boston, obviously, in Florida last night, um, getting that big win. Um, I have to say that it's a letdown spot because it's Tampa Bay, a team that's obviously a division rival, a team that's right there uh, in the playoff in a playoff spot currently. So it's not necessarily like a, they're not facing um, Arizona or Anaheim or something. So not necessarily a letdown game. I do lean with the over here, but for me in this game, we're going back to two player props that we've been betting recently. Anthony Duclair, anytime goal I got for plus two ninety. Apparently, Jordan says now it's plus 300, uh, so uh, even better price now with that. And then Braden Point, anytime goal, plus 165. Uh, looks like he and Hedman will be making their returns to the lineup uh, after a one-game injury. Uh, so um, that is good news. Point, declare Kucherov on that top line. Sorelli, Hagel, Stamkos on the second line. Uh, and then Hedman, guys, yeah, uh, back on the top D pair. So. I do lean with Tampa Bay in this game, but I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of today's slate when it comes to sides. Um, I feel this game could very well go to overtime, uh, and then it's literally a toss-up on who wins. So I don't feel comfortable pulling the trigger on Tampa. Um, so Tampa player props to Claire and Point here uh, in this one for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what people are thinking. Uh, Supness, how's it going, Lex? Uh, Lightning puck line? No, not for me at least. Um, but I do lean towards them. Uh, Stern Co says Lightning. Uh, I, I agree. I agree. I lean. I lean towards them. Cooch two points. Point two points plus two ninety one. Tampa money line. Draw. Yeah. I, you know what? I really, I really do lean towards the draw. I do. Um, but yeah, as Tommy says, anyone concerned, confident with being the first game after a road trip, Boston can clinch a win tonight. I am a little bit concerned about the first game back from California. I am. Uh, and that's enough of a concern to keep me off Tampa, even though I do lean with them. So uh, it, I, I am a little bit concerned. And then with the draw, yes, it, this looks like a good draw spot, but this game could also finish. 3-1 Boston, if Tampa has a, a bad game here. Uh, Tampa money line over 5.5, declare anytime goal, point, anytime goal, exploring other props. All right. Lightning team total over 3.5. Okay. Uh, Allmark has been the better of the goaltenders for Boston recently, so. But Tampa's offense have been clicking before that Anaheim game, and then obviously you lose point and headman, uh, and that really hurts chemistry um, because though that's two extremely important pieces. So they're back now, so we'll see if they can get back to scoring. Kucherov, two points. Declare, two points, plus 450. Robert hopes that they get back to scoring, that's for sure. Uh, Bruins, uh, first period, money line, minus 108. Okay, I can see that. Who has advantage? I really don't think there is an advantage for either side, and that's why I'm off. Um, Tampa money line. All right. Marshan goal, Stammer goal, plus 750. All right. Declare point plus 104 at Fanatics with 25% profit boost. Yeah, great price with that. I think it's minus 120 in most spots just by itself uh, without a boost. Point anytime goal plus 170 at FanDuel. There we go. There we go. If uh, Hedman and Point weren't playing, I would have, uh, I won it. Or I would have taken, Bo I would have taken Boston, say. All right. Um, lean over. This should be a playoff matchup. Thinking Lightning can win out. Right or a possible draw. Yeah, I could see a draw. 
Hagel and Sorelli have been cooking together. Yeah, and Sam Close has been hot too. So that's 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 a good line, a good second line. Sorry I'm late. Thompson assist, uh, Darlene assist, Paterka point, Marchand assist, Zaka point, Declare point. Tim, where is um where is um Alex Tuck? Where is he? What are you doing? No I'm kidding. But uh, best of luck today. Um but yeah, where where's Tuck? Um Boston money line and draw. Okay, so Juan likes Boston. Uh, Malinsky special for Tampa. Yeah, uh, not not a good spot for Tampa. A Boston under half a power play goal. I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I haven't looked at Boston's power play recently. Um, so I can't comment on that. Boston, Tampa Bay, top 10 power PKs and power plays. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tim, don't be late again. Yeah, I know. Like, wow, Tim, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, only three Sabres today didn't want to overdo it. May I, because he said so. Yeah, well, he's got an assist in five games in a row. So that that's why I'm on him for an assist, because he's on a streak. So we'll take him. Hockey stinks today. Hey, picks from Dave. And yeah, it really does. Uh, and you would think, well, I guess NHL doesn't really care about opening day, but it would have been nice to have more games today so that, well, you know, we don't have 29 games tomorrow because that's just a lot. But, yeah, it is what it is. You lean over under tear in this game. I lean over, but I don't know. I don't know. And then I lean under in the first game, but. Not confident with totals or sides on today's slate. It's player props for me. LOL, yeah. Corbisalo in net for the Sens. Yes, he is. Uh, I'm thinking about Buffalo team total over 3.5 plus 115. Seems like good value better than the money line. All right. Yeah, if you like him to score some goals, then um, that's a good price. Kutra 4 plus shots and goal minus 130. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, that was my XG's name, uh, Eileen Over. <laughs> interesting, interesting, Dave. But we will go to the parlay of the day, uh, and then we will finish off the show. Uh, so obviously not a whole lot of choices for today uh, when it comes to the parlay of the day, being that there's two games. But uh, I still wanted to have one here uh, because I, I really like this. Uh, Tage Thompson over half a point. And Anthony Declare over half a point. Two top liners on both teams um, who are playing very well right now. Uh, we have uh, Tage Thompson, uh, a point in uh, seven of his last eight games, and Anthony Declare, a point in 10 of his last 11. So a nice plus 209 there. But we have to rewind here for a quick second because I forgot to mention props, uh, player streaks in this game. David Pasternak, a point in 10 of his last 14. Pavel Zaka, a point in 9 of his last 11. Uh, Marchand, a point in 7 of his last 11. Jake Dabrowski, a point in 8 of his last 11. Braden Point, a point in 14 of his last 16. A goal in 5 of his last 6 and 11 of his last 15. Uh, Victor Hedman has an assist in 6 of his last 7 games. Nikita Kutrov, a point in 23 of his last 25. An assist in 13 of his last 14. Uh, Kutroff, Mr. Consistent. Stamkos has a point eight of his last nine, an assist in six of his last nine, and Anthony Duclair, a point in ten of his last 11, and a goal in eight of his last 11. Uh, he should not be my uh, plus 300 to score. Not when he's on the top line and he's got a goal in eight of his last 11 games. There's just a ton of value there. So, yes, like both players, plus 209, a great price for these two players to get a point today. We'll go into the comments here. Uh, LOL. Um, do we know what point Hedy's injuries were? No, we don't really. Uh, or at least I don't. Past any time goal, plus 105. Um, upper body or lower body? Maybe just a rest game and they just said injury, but who knows. Uh, thanks, Terry. Good luck to you as well, Juan. Uh, best of luck. Appreciate you 100%. Thanks, Pain Your Life. I appreciate you watching. Since Declare has joined the Lightning, I think they have maybe only lost one or two games. Yeah, he's just been great. 
Uh, he was great right at the end of his San Jose career as well before he went over. Tampa went from faves to dogs back to faves. Hmm. Interesting. LOL for sure. Don't follow the bolts too closely. Not sure if it's a lingering thing. I want to bet Tampa props, but hesitant with their injuries. Uh, looks like they were shit versus the Ducks last week. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Um, which team shoots more? Uh, I'm not sure. I have not looked at um, shots. Um, you feeling declare goal? Um, says Miss Letty to Robert. Uh, let's get it today. Uh, great show, Tara. Thank you, sir. No problem, Dave. Um, stammer goal, Miss Letty, says Robert. Good luck, everyone, and thanks, Terry. No problem, Kev. And declare and point anytime goal. Yes, I'm on both of those. On both of those today. Those are my two props in that game. Uh, Boston shoots more. Okay, Boston shoots more. And that's today's NHL show. Um, 6 p.m. Eastern will be the MLB show going over opening day games for tomorrow so make sure uh, to check that out if you're interested in some mlb plays and then um yeah um 14 game slate tomorrow show will be on on its regular time uh breaking down all the games um both teams are both teams pass more than they shoot all right all right and depends who takes penalties yeah that'll determine a lot who takes the more the more who takes more penalties in this game but thanks everyone for watching, and we will see you on the next show. Um, four comments just jumped in. We'll see what. Uh, Tuck assists with Thompson goal. I like it. I do. Uh, Tampa five on five sucks, says Louise. Well, I hope there aren't a lot of power plays then tonight. Um, this uh, have gets decided by special teams this game. I could see that. Uh, Marchand, right? Yeah, Marchand. Wasn't too happy with his penalties yesterday, Marsha, but when is he happy with his penalties? Uh, Tampa in playoffs with Vasi, watch out. Hopefully he's not tired because all they do is play him. So hopefully he's not too tired. Thank you everyone for watching, and we will see you on the next shows. Thanks for watching, guys.